Hello and welcome to the Bearded Gaming Network. My name is Ginger Beard from Closing Gaming. I will be your host today, and this is the Bearded Gaming News. We have lined up for you today uh, approximately four to five articles regarding the news from the past two weeks. Starting off fresh, we are going to go straight to Call of Duty Black Ops 2. A lot of you guys probably play Call of Duty more so than Battlefield 3. Personally, I prefer Battlefield 3 because it's boss. Um, moving on, uh, we have Black Ops 2 won't feature Death Streaks or Last Stand with a nice crotch picture for ya. Uh! Alright, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 game design director David Valenhaar has uh, revealed that the game's multiplayer will not feature Death Streaks. The news came during an interview with One of Swords when Valenhaar asked about the inclusion of such Last Stand perks. He quotes this. There are no second chance, no last stand, no final stand, Volnahar explained. There are no combination of perk whatsoever on the death streak. Then he also states that there are no perks on the death streak. So there are no death streaks in this game. Which is really good because death streaks are a pain in the ass. He said, absolutely not stop yelling at me. I will fucking yell at you if you put a death streak in this game. Then again, I will probably not even get it. Uh, Death Streaks previously appeared in Mono for 2 and Mono for 3, but not in the first Black Ops. So it would be pretty unclear whether or not they were going to make this uh, cut this time around. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to buy that game. Uh, if you guys like that game, buy it. Personally, I'm not going to buy it. Okay, moving on. Uh, approximately two days ago, August 28th, 2012... Hackers target Guild Wars 2 accounts. Seriously, guys? Come on. It just came out. Like, what the fuck do you want? Nice picture. I like some elf tits. Yeah. Alright, hackers have been hitting Guild Wars 2 players hard over the last few days with various password reset scams and phishing attempts. A large number of players are reporting to receive emails stating that they really need to reset their password when they really didn't put it out. So basically, in a nutshell, this article says if you did not request the email to reset your password, don't click it and just ignore it. Uh, personally, a lot of people, I believe, are too into their game to even realize that, hey, I'm kind of getting fished, kind of getting scammed when it comes to this password stuff. So uh, just make sure you read everything very, very carefully and make sure you're not getting into anything fishy. Moving on, if you guys really, really, really love uh, zombie apocalypse, zombie apocalypses, you have a hard on for zombie zombie apocalypses and stuff. Left for Dead, um, like Walking Dead, just death stuff like that. Uh, the Walking Dead video game is coming to consoles to be announced 2013. So the TV show is coming to a game console for you guys to play and love. Uh, in this article, it says the first-person action game allows players to assume the role of the crossbow-wielding survivor, Daryl Dixon, alongside his brother Merle on a haunting, unforgiving quest to make their way to the supposed safety of Atlanta. The Walking Dead video game takes the undead and brings them out of the TV show into the console gaming systems in a terrifying way. The iconic walkers, if you guys play Dead Zed, you'll know what the walkers are. They're basically zombies. Uh, they will relentlessly hunt down players like their television counterparts using a combination of sight, sound, and smell, which is really, really cool because most zombies just jump at you and don't do shit. As Daryl, players will need to tread carefully throughout new areas they explore. So once they discovered it, it doesn't take much to attract an unstoppable horde of undead walkers. So every threat needs to be addressed and every situation needs to be analyzed. Players will have a choice to either go between uh, whether to stay and fight while risking a gruesome death or while using stealth to try and avoid the zombies. So basically in a nutshell, this really sounds like a DayZ game, but hopefully it's not like... Um, let's say Disney games or something like that, and they totally get, like, brutalized. So, I don't know. Anyway, uh, moving on. If you guys really have a hard-on for Metal Gear Solid, which is really fairly funny because Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> Robot penis. Anyway, um, moving up here. Nice picture of Snake. Yeah. 
All right, cool. We all dreamed of this day for so long, but finally, a Metal Gear Solid movie has been announced at the Metal Gear Solid 25th anniversary event in Tokyo. Who would have thought? X-Men and Spider-Man producer Avid Ar- A.V. Arid, weird names, took a chance to go on stage of the on the event to announce that thanks to Columbia Pictures, a Metal Gear Solid movie is now in the works. For many years, I fought to bring comics to the theaters, and video games are the comics of today. True story, brah. All right. That, I believe, is it for today. We have the Metal Gear Solid article, the Black Ops article, the uh, Guild Wars 2 article, and the Walking Dead article. They will all be in the description, linked and stuff like that. So, my name is Gingerbeard from Closing Gaming. My channel will also be linked in the description. And that is all, my friends. If you guys like my voice, you guys get a boner for my voice, be sure to like this. Be sure to subscribe to the Bearded Gaming Network. I am going to be in a bunch of their videos and stuff like that, and they really have a really, really cool Let's Plays, and uh, Riley's got a really a bunch of really cool reviews and stuff like that, so go check them out. Again, my name is Gingerbeer from Cousin Gaming, and I will see you guys later. Peace. We'll